up here and start singing. I'll find this cat cow up here. Happy 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 Coming soon, Jesus in all his glory. Yeah.
sing one more. Yeah. 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 Appreciate the Lord, Trevor. Amen. I enjoy trying to sing. I can't sing much, but I want to always be able to lift up His name. That's right, Jesus. What He's done for Praise me. the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Boy, He gets His attention when His people start bragging on Him. Anybody else tonight got something to say for the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord.
that it's starting to feel like a Sunday morning. Praise the Lord. Let's continue this I course wanna, the Lord. I want to thank the Lord for giving me life. Um, yes, when Lord. I was dead, He gave me life, and I want to thank Him for that and for mercy and forgiveness. Amen. Thank you. One dark night. done for me and he's had to he put this song on my heart today and all I could do is sing it to myself at yeah. work and hopefully it'll help somebody tonight. Amen. When they came up for me all around me I could see that my blessings outnumbered
sing it. Come away. I want to tell you about a dream that a young boy had. He's seen all these stars. Well, he's seen 10, I guess. And all of them stars made reverence unto him. He's holding it at the supper table. And his brothers said, I know what you're thinking of. You're thinking that all, uh, that all of us are the stars and we're making reverence to you, Joseph. And he said, I seen something else in the dream. I seen the sun and I seen the moon. And it did reverence me. It, it did bow down to me. I know who you, who you think you are, Joseph. Your own mom and your own dad. Amen. Her father, he's going to bow down to you. What, are you crazy? But if he hadn't had the dream, his brothers wouldn't have never hated him. If, he has, if his brothers wouldn't have never hated him, they'd have never sold him to the Ishmaelites. If they hadn't have sold him to the Ishmaelites, he'd have never went into Potiphar's house. If he'd have never went into Potiphar's house, he'd have never met Potiphar's wife. Are you getting me? If he'd have never met Potiphar's wife, she'd have never lied on him and told her husband that he, she, he tried to rape me and he'd never been put in jail. If he'd have never been put in jail, he'd have never met the butler and the baker. You see how everything, amen, has to happen according to his purpose? Sometimes we don't understand things and we scratch our head, but we've got to know that God is working it for our good. Yes. We've got to go, we've got to try and time. Time's a hard thing. It can either be your buddy or it can be your enemy. Yeah. When you're in a valley and you're going through a time, you, you, go ask Walter what sitting there day, a man that's used to working every day, getting up and going, and every day of his life sitting in that hospital, sitting there day in and day out. Yeah. Time's an enemy. Yeah. He told me how many how many squares, how many tiles it was all the way back to the elevator. He said, I ain't got nothing else to do and just do things like that. You see, time. And sometimes it's hard for us to wait on time. Yeah. But God's got to get His glory. God's got to get His thing done. He's got to get what He's wanting to do accomplished. And the Bible said that the butler, amen, he was restored or and uh, the scripture said, but he forgot him. But, he, but I'm going to tell you, God don't forget you. God don't forget you. No Pharaoh had a dream and they wasn't nobody able to have that dream and it all started back with the dream that he had about the stars and the moon and the sun God brought that man out of that dungeon he went all the way to the prime minister amen of Egypt brother Sean that's the power of God then the Bible said I'll, I'll say this as a re reading these scriptures today the Bible said that he had a boy amen God give him a one of them uh, Egyptians down there for a wife and the Bible said that, amen, that she come to him and the Bible said that he had a son and his firstborn son was named Manasseh. Now I had to look that up. That's why I read to you what I read tonight, Brother Ricky. Amen. Because of this, I didn't tell you this. But I thought, what's wonder what that name Manasseh means. And it means God has caused me to forget some things. God's caused me to put some things behind me. Amen. And you know what that was, don't you? His own flesh and blood betrayed him. His own flesh and blood become his enemy. And then the Bible said that he had another boy. Well, after I looked up Manasseh, I had to find out what Ephraim meant. And Ephraim means, amen, that God has caused me to be fruitful. If you want to be fruitful, you're going to have to forget some things. Things. You're going to have to put some things behind you. Amen. For God to bless you. I'm just glad I'm a part of this. I mean, I'm just a little bitty speck. You couldn't see me under a, under a microscope. But God sees me. I'm glad I'm a part of the body of Christ tonight. I'm, I'm, I feel the Lord here in this service tonight. Man, I feel like we could run through some troops and leap over some walls tonight. God, give us victory over the devil. Victory over sin. Victory over over, amen, the things of this life, they bound us down, don't they? Amen. Testify, Santana. Help her, Lord. Bless 
Help her, Lord. Yes. Amen, sis. We will. Praise the Lord. They strength beyond all measure ain't they? in the good Lord. All right. We're going to let this preacher come preach, man. It's a good night to preach. Come on, sister. At a lonely tomb, one break of day, two soldiers quietly lay. A moving stone exposed an empty grave. A father's love came down and his something tomorrow and not only her but everybody here amen that's that Sarah sent my mother that song this week and she sent it to me and I was listening to it the other night and and uh, I knew exactly where it was taken from the writer in song with Solomon said come away my fair one the voice of the turtle dove is heard in the land the winter's over the time of the singing of the birds has come amen 
The time of the singing of the birds has come. And uh, I thought about a, a preacher friend of mine. Uh, he, he was a pastor in a church and a little, a, a little young and had died. A little young and had died. And he went there to see, uh, to visit the family. And they had a chain link fence around the house. And he said there's a little old bush right beside the gate of that chain link fence. And he said there was a bird in there just singing up a storm. And he said when I went to open it, he said I noticed, he said the bird didn't fly. He said I went right by it. He said I got right close to it. And said they had the windows raised and the, the screens in the windows. And said we was in there talking to the mom and the dad and said they was just crushed. They was broken. They was crying just repetitively, just in sorrow, just broken down. And he said, the whole time I was in there, I could hear that little bird singing. Never did stop singing, never did stop. And he said that, he said before he left, he said, I had to ask him, he said, what about that bird out there at the gate? And he called him, he said, brother, I believe it was brother Johnny that told me this. I can't remember who the preacher was. He said, he said, brother, he said, that, that bird has been there. It sang all night last night. It's been there all day today. It's not moved. It's saying sometimes God will send a little bird. But you've got to have eyes to look for it. You've got to have eyes to see it. The world ain't looking for a little bird to sing to them. But if you'll see that, God can give you such strength. Ask, ask Elijah what a bird can do for you. Amen. It can give you food, can't it? Yeah. It can help you. Look for the birds tomorrow, Santana. Church, you that's in the valley, you that's a fighting the fight of faith, look for the birds tomorrow. And the Lord just might say, come away. Come away. He may not take you to heaven, but he may take you into a place, amen, where the Spirit can just bless you. Come on, Jessica, sing tonight. Amen. I thought Sean was a guitar player, but he said, I ain't a guitar player. My wife is. So we're glad, amen, we're glad Sean can't play the guitar guitar, because all ever other preacher I know can play guitar. <laughs> I appreciate Brother Sean. You obey the Lord. Just get that mic when you get finished. Okay. You pray for him tonight. We appreciate him being here tonight. Ever, Lord. Thank the Lord for saving my soul and for sharing his love with me. And the Bible is sweeter and sweeter every single day. Yes. Just spending time with the Lord and getting to know Him is just a lifeline, lifelong journey. And I just thank the Lord Amen. that He let me be part of His family. And if you ever need to know that God loves you, ask Him to show you that He loves you. That's right. Don't let the devil get you into doubting that God loves you ever. But if you ever do want to know afresh, because you messed up too many times, just ask God to show you that he loves you all over again and he will Amen. he will he has me many times Amen. through those little things like he was talking about maybe a bird um one day i asked god recently to show me that he loved me because i just messed up a lot in my That's life right. and the devil would beat me down real hard and so i just want to know myself and that my savior still loved me no matter <laughs> Bless your Lord. So I got in the car, my like, voice, and usually the radio is kind of background noise. It's just something soft to soothe the soul. But it was, I have loved you. Yeah. I have loved you. Over and over and over again, I have loved you. Amen. Like a father loves you, I loved you. Praise and it was a testimony right after that of how God Bless loves you more than your earthly father possibly could. Amen. And it was just, it's always something that the Lord wants to show you that he loves you every Every single day Amen. and I just want to praise my father tonight and ask him to break Amen. every chain because he's able to we Amen. can do nothing within ourselves right. but right here God has helped me in this church and I would like to praise him tonight Amen sister Amen, Amen. bless you praise the Lord <laughs> y'all help us sing this old song I started
a bitter cup When the devil comes a knocking Showing me an easier way I stand right, square on my feet I throw my head in the air I look him straight in the eye I say my foot's on the rock And my mind's made up The devil, he will tempt you your trust in Jesus. Say, Lord, I've had enough. The Lord will say, move on, say, they've got their mind made up. Got my foot on the rock and my mind's made up. Though I walk through the lonely valley, though I drink from the bitter cup, when the devil comes a knocking, show me an easier way. My feet, I throw my head in the air. I look him straight in the eye. I say my foot's on the rock and my mind's made up. Now Job was a man who was tempted in every way. The devil took his family. He lay sick both night and day. His wife, she came and saying, Curse God, you've had enough. Woman, I've got my mind made up. How many's got your mind made up tonight? Put on the rock and my mind's made up. Though I walk through the lonely valley, though I drink from the bitter cup, when the devil comes and knock and show it to me an easier way, I stand right, swear on my feet, I throw my head in the air, I look him straight in. Eyes. I say my foot's on the rock and my mind's made up. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Preacher. It's a matter which one. <laughs> Praise God. Aren't you glad we got a rock that we can go to tonight? Yes. Amen. Good David said, My heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to that rock, which is higher than I tonight. And, uh, well, uh, I appreciate this service tonight. I appreciate the spirit of worship here. And, and just, I feel like the Lord's trying to help us. <laughs> Amen. He is helping. Thank God for that tonight. And uh, I had a message I was going to preach. And right in the middle of the service, God's changed my mind, changed my direction. So I'm just going to try to obey the Lord tonight. So I might preach five minutes, might preach 50 minutes. I don't know. So we'll, <laughs> we'll obey God. Amen. Take your Bibles and go to uh, 1 Kings chapter 10. I appreciate this opportunity to be here, Amen, Brother Jason and Sister Christy, allowing us to come. And I appreciate this church. This is where I got saved 10 years ago. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful for this church. Very familiar scripture, and uh, I tell you just the way the Spirit's been moving tonight and, and uh, the things that's been said and sung, I just felt like God led me to these scriptures here. 1 Kings chapter 10, we'll start with verse number 1. And when the queen of Sheba heard the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. <clears throat> and she came to Jerusalem with a very great train, with camels that bear spices and very much gold and precious stones. When she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. Yeah. And Solomon told her all her questions. There was not anything hid from the king which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all of Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers and their apparel and his cup bearers and his ascent by which he went up into the house of the Lord, Amen. there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, It was a true report that I heard in mine own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believed not the words until I came. 
and mine eyes had seen it. And behold, the half was not told me. Thy wisdom and prosperity exceedeth the fame which I heard. Praise God. Happy are thy men, happy are these thy servants, which stand continually before thee, and that hear thy wisdom. Amen. That's all we'll read. Let's pray. Let's pray again if that's all right. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you tonight. God, for your blessings, Lord. We thank you, dear Jesus, Lord, for this opportunity to be here. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for, for salvation tonight. We thank you, Jesus, for your precious Son, Lord, that died on the cross of Calvary, Lord, for our sin. We ask now you'd help us now, Holy Ghost. We're trusting in thee. We're depending upon you. God, bless the reading, the hearing, the preaching, and the receiving, the doing of your word tonight. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'd like to uh, preach from verse number 6 tonight. Uh, when uh, here the queen of Sheba had came up and she said to the king, it was a true report. Yes. Amen. It was a true report that I heard in mine own land of thine acts. Amen. And of thy wisdom. Yes. Amen. Tonight, amen, the, the, the house of God, Brother Jesse, and the things that we've heard here tonight, the things, amen, that we have read in the Word of God, the things that you have experienced in your personal walk with Jesus Christ. I like to tell you it's a true report tonight. Amen. The day and the hour that we live in, praise God. Y'all pray for me just a minute. The day and the hour that we live in, amen, you can turn on the TV or whatever, the news, the radio, amen, look here and there. Amen. For news reports and look at this to try to find out information. Most of it's fake news. Right. Amen. Most of it's a lie anymore. Most of it. Amen. It's you can't believe what you hear. That's true. Whether it don't matter which side it's on. That's you you right. can't believe this one. You can't believe that when they're talking out both sides of their mouth. Amen. Yeah. And you don't know what to believe anymore. And sometimes, Amen. As, as us as Christians, the devil he wants to get in our mind. Amen. He wants us to make us doubt. Amen. Are you the one? that Brother Jesse sung about tonight. He made John the Baptist doubt, did he not? Yeah. He got him in a hard place, got him down there. He, he saw Jesus do the miracles. Sure did. John didn't do any miracles. Yeah. John was the forerunner of Jesus Christ. And he preached, he's one coming after me. Mightier than I. Amen. Mightier than I. Whose shoes I'm not worthy to lose tonight. Amen. Amen. He's coming. Amen. I'll baptize you in this water, but he'll baptize you with, with fire in the Holy Ghost. Amen. He preached it to be true. Yes. Did he not? He, and he said, what for you to come out to see? A reed shaking in the wind? Right. That's what Jesus told about John. They, he said there's none greater than John greater. born among women tonight. Happy Lord. Amen. And John, amen, he preached that Jesus was going to come. He said, I'm not the light, but he is that one that's coming. Amen. amen. He preached it to be true. Was it a true report yes. tonight? Yes. <laughs> amen. Was it a true report what John the Baptist preached? No, one day, amen, it was prophesied in the word of God. Isaiah said it. Amen. Look, read your Bible. Believe the word of God tonight. Amen. John said over in 1 John, he said, we bear the record and it's true. The record is true. Praise God. Amen. The record is true tonight. Amen. Quit letting the devil put lies in your mind, lies in your heart, making you doubt the word of God, Amen. making you doubt your experience with Jesus Christ. I tell you, it's a true report. Come on, Brother Sean. Praise the Lord. I'm just giving it to you as the Lord gives it to me tonight. Amen. And here, amen, John, he said he, he preached that Jesus would come. It was prophesied by the prophets. Amen. Isaiah said there's going to be a unto you this day is born. Amen. In the city of David, a Savior will be born. Yes. Amen. Right. Thousands of years before Christ came, amen, the man of God stood up and said, amen, there was a report given. Did Isaiah not say, and was it, I believe it was Isaiah 53, yes. who hath believed our report? Right. How many's believed the report tonight? Yes, sir. Amen. And it's, it's counted unto you as righteousness. That's right. Abraham believed the report. He said, I'm looking for a city whose builder and maker is God tonight. How many believe the report that up ahead, Jesus has a place prepared for you? Oh, my. If it were not true, he'd have told you. Yes. It's a true report, brother. I say keep on going home. Amen. I say keep on believing tonight. Yes. It's a true report. Oh, These lies all in our country. 
country today. These lies are even from the pulpit. They're deceiving many a people. But this King James Version, amen, this word of God tonight, it's true. You can stand on it. You can bank on it. Amen. It's proven itself to be true time and time again. I'm going to continue to believe on it. Amen. Praise God. I didn't need that message. I'm going to preach this one. Amen tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a true report. Isaiah said, amen, the, the government's going to be upon his shoulders. The increase of it, amen, his name shall be wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father. Has that been a true report in your life? Oh yeah. Has he been the Prince of Peace in your life tonight? Has he been wonderful in your life? Has it been a true report? Yes. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Praise. That's his very name. He ain't done me nothing but good tonight. It's been a true report. Amen. He is who he says he is. Right. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Praise God. The Bible, he said, I am the Christ, right. the Son of the living God. Right. Amen. He said, who do men say that I am? Yeah. Is it a true report or not? Right. Amen. Was he the one or was he another? Right. <laughs> How many believe he's the one? Sure he was. Amen. He said, go show John again. Go show John again these things that you see. Come on. Amen. They are a true report tonight. The blind are receiving their sight. The lame are walking. The deaf are hearing. The dead are being raised. Amen. The gospel's being preached to the poor tonight. Amen. You go tell John, amen, everything that he preached about me, it was a true report. Amen. Praise God. I believe John was satisfied in his death, don't you? Sure he was, yeah. Amen. He, Amen. Without a shadow of a doubt tonight. Bless you, God. Amen. Praise God. He believed it was a true report. Praise God. Amen. Here, the Queen of Sheba. She had heard about the fame of Solomon. Yeah. Solomon, amen, he was anointed king after David, his daddy died. Amen, and it was God's will that Solomon, amen, would build the temple. Right. And, and, all, and, and God uh, began to uh, question Solomon. He began to ask him what he had need of. He didn't ask for wealth. Right. He didn't ask for fame. Amen. He asked for wisdom. What about that? Amen, he asked for wisdom. And God said, because you've asked for wisdom, I'm going to give you all these things. Praise the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God Amen. and His righteousness and all these other things to be added. How many believe that's a true report tonight? Amen. How many can testify, I put God first and He blessed me? Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's a true report. Yes. Amen. You can bank on the promises of God. They're still yea and amen. amen. If God said it, it's true tonight. Amen. 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 The devil's a liar and the father of it. Amen. God cannot lie. Right. Hallelujah. Why, we, why don't we trust in Him then? <laughs> Amen. Why we keep? Why do we keep on doubting yeah. things that He said right here in His Word? Right. Ask anything in My name, and it shall be given. Yeah. And He ain't talking about. He ain't talking about prosperity and wealth this world. Amen. Spiritual things tonight. Sure, that's right. Amen. God wants to bless us with those things. But here, Amen. Solomon. And the Lord blessed him. He said he had, uh, he had a, a continuous flow of people coming and bringing him gold and bringing him all the, all, all the other countries came in. They flooded in to his shores. It was a continual, amen, uh, coming across the Mediterranean Sea of, of goods and of, of spices and of costly things, yeah. things you and I couldn't even think to afford tonight. I mean, this, God gave it to this man. All right. and, the, and the word went out, amen, about Solomon's wisdom about his wealth and about his kingdom. And this queen, I mean, she had, she had money herself. Sure. She had a, a position. And she came up. She brought all of her, the people with her. She brought the camels and all the things. And she comes to see for herself yeah. if it was a true report or not. Yeah. Aren't you glad that one day, amen, you heard about this man named Jesus? Yeah. Praise God, Brother Jack. Amen, you didn't take that woman at the well. She said, come see a man. Come see a man. Told me everything ever I did. You don't have to believe me, but come see for yourself self tonight. Praise the Lord. Aren't you glad that one day, amen, you, you found out for yourself, it was a true report that he can deliver me from things. He can set me free. And whom the Son has set free is free indeed tonight. It's a true report. He's still saving. He's still delivering tonight. He's still on the throne tonight. That's a true report. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. And she heard about all these things. And she said, I came and looked 
And I saw him going up into his up into his throne. Yeah. No spirit was left in her. She was overwhelmed yeah. with his with what God, the splendor of his kingdom. Yeah. Amen tonight. I'm looking at another kingdom, ain't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't looking at Solomon's kingdom tonight. No, Amen. Oh, I'm looking at this one that's coming. Amen. There's, Jesus said, if this was my kingdom, then I'd fight. Amen. But this ain't his kingdom down here. This world's going to pass away. And the elements thereof's going to burn up, brother. Amen. But there's going to be a new Jerusalem coming down. There's going to be a new kingdom wherein dwelleth righteousness right. and truth. Yeah. Praise God tonight. How many believe that's a true report? I, I mean, you can't, may not can see it. With your eyes, praise God that one of these days it's our faith's going to end in sight, and we're going to be like uh, the Queen of Sheba here. We're going to say, I mean, it was a true report. We've read about heaven, we've read about God's kingdom, we've read about His goodness, we've read about His splendor. I mean, but the half ain't been told, church. The half ain't been told about the report that's been given. Amen. Praise God. Oh, my, how many's anxious to see that city? Yes. Oh, who builder makers gone where the streets are of gold and the walls are of jasper yeah. praise God the gates are of pearl tonight amen they won't be no sickness in that land praise God tonight that's a true report ain't it he's going to be the light of that city amen. I know I ain't preaching nothing new amen. Amen. this is true report tonight yeah. what I'm giving to you is true amen, <laughs> amen. praise God and it ain't because I can back it up you can fact check me tonight <laughs> Go ahead. Try it. Try to disprove what I'm preaching to you. Amen. They try to do it every day, don't they? Sure they do. Disprove this one. Disprove that one. They've tried to disprove this gospel. They've tried to, to disprove Jesus Christ. I mean, there's one thing that still holds true today, that Jesus Christ, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. You can doubt me. You can doubt the church. You can doubt religion. But there's one thing for sure. This man named Jesus Amen. did come to this world. He was born of a virgin. Amen. Praise the Lord tonight. He came and lived 33 and a half sinless years. He was the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. And praise God and one day he went to the old rugged cross. They saw him die. They witnessed him die on that room, that Roman cruel tree. Yes. Cursed is a man that dies on the tree. They saw him die. Amen. Amen. That centurion said truly this was the Son of God. Yeah. Uh, that day he had faith. He said, this was a true report. Yes. What I've heard and what I've seen, it's true tonight. Right, preacher. Amen. But oh, aren't you glad uh, those that walked along the road to Emmaus, yeah. they was downhearted. They had heard the report. Uh, they saw him die. And they heard Jesus told them, amen, the sign that I'm going to give you is as that of Jonah's. Right. In three days, I'm coming out of there. They didn't believe the report, did they? No. If they would have, why was the head hung and low? And, amen, the, and Jesus come along, they said, ain't you heard? Ain't you heard this report that the one that we had hope in, the Messiah, he's dead? Right. Amen. amen. Oh my, but he wasn't dead, was he? No. He oh, was. praise God. Mary and Martha, they come to the tomb that morning. Amen. And there they come. Amen. Bearing the spices on that Easter Sunday morning. Praise God. Oh my, and there they came. Amen. And oh, they was they were seeking the living.